King Arthur promised us safety on these shores. Instead, we found stormy seas, rocks like shark teeth and treacherous mists. Those few who managed to land will be set by hunger, cold, and nightmares born of weirdness. My people settled around a gnarled old statue. Though we did not understand its origin or purpose, the enemy seemed to avoid it. That was good enough. For a time. In the end, the winds of weirdness only grew stronger, and the statue failed to protect the settlement. There was fear, despair, and then... nothingness. As reality melted around us. You awake to nothingness. All you can sense is darkness. A de then you hear whistling. An eternity seems to pass before something material. Damn it! You weren't supposed to land here. Damn it all to. The creature pauses for a moment, clearly weighing up some options. Now listen. There's a lot to do. But what can we try? Perfect. You can speak. And yes, these are really great. Now, listen closely. Are you ready? Brace yourself. Because what I'm going... You're gone. Your village is gone. Everything you've ever known, however... The creature taps two hooves together, marking a dramatic pause. There is a small chance, an infinitesimally tiny chance, really to bring it all back. You were saved from death in order to keep your reality from falling apart. But, well, it's not going to be easy. First, we must ensure that you're in good enough condition to actually do anything. Which brings us to the problematic part. Your body. You squint down at your feet and hands in the darkness. They seem perfectly fine. Oh no. Oh, goodness me, no. That's just an illusion. I had to get you here somehow, didn't I? Otherwise, you'd start talking about the afterlife and whatnot. And this, my friend, is not an afterlife. This is a total mess. But let's see what we can do. Here, this little trick should get us started at least. Well, it seems your soul isn't strong enough to be picky about its vessel yet. Don't worry, you'll grow. Now, we need to see whether my little trick actually worked. The goat weaves his fingers in an intricate series of gestures. With a final flourish, he conjures a terrifying creature into the emptiness. Aha, here we go. This is a powerful Avalonian warlock. But don't worry. He's not really here, not in the truest sense. Your goal here is simple. Fight. Show me that you've got what it takes.
Well, I should have seen that coming. It was optimistic of me to expect you to beat it on your first try, but don't worry. Like I said, you'll grow. You'll wake up in a place resembling your own village. You'll find a man there whose task it is to help you on your journey. Your main objective for now will be to push onwards, survive. Where your hometown once was, a lone man sits. It's not my farmhold, is it? At least that's one thing you. A creature that looked like a goat told me. I the man looks at you for. I've already made some preparations and settled in one of the tents. But you? I've seen an enormous creature out there. 